Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. Behind me is a 2020 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters. This is a trailer we're really excited to show you about. Um, we're going to kind of take our time going through this. It's got a lot of options, uh, but it is a very, very well set up trailer. Like I mentioned, it's a 2020 Cimarron Four Horse. This trailer is 710 tall. It is eight foot wide. It's 36 foot and three inches on the floor. It is a 1510 short wall by Outlaw Conversions with the slide out. And this is an air ride equipped trailer. Like I mentioned, we're gonna kind of take our time going through this trailer. It's got a lot of really cool options, things that we really think make the trailer um, kind of separate itself from everything else out there, um, but a lot of useful, useful features we put on this trailer. As we get underneath the gooseneck here, we did the dual hydraulic, electric over hydraulic jacks. On these bigger trailers with the slides, we just like that extra stability of having the dual jacks. You can also kind of manipulate the way the trailer sits if you're on uneven ground. And then also if you're not dead center when you go to hook this trailer up, you can actually, um, they're individually switched each leg so you can almost kind of walk it right onto the, the ball itself. So it's really easy to use there. Two 30 pound LP bottles. In this first box is our house batteries and then our air ride battery and our battery disconnect. Yeah, this is a newer disconnect that Outlaw's been using. Um, they've just used it here maybe on the last few months they've been putting it on some trailers. And one thing I want you to kind of notice when you're looking in here, when you're looking at all these different cables and where they're going, you will notice how well everything is labeled by Outlaw. So this way you're not trying to figure out what wire goes to what, everything is labeled. A lot, of, a lot of their wires are color coded, so it's very easy to point you in the right direction if you do have an issue. Again, we've got that one standalone air ride battery, and over here is our onboard compressor. It's self-contained, so you don't have to have a compressor on the truck, anything like that. You basically turn this on, load your horses, because we're about two and a half inches closer to the ground right now and then we roll it into the raised position and it'll kick the compressor back on pick the trailer up those two and a half inches and you go down the road it's very very simple to use over in this other box we've got our hydraulics so this trailer has a hydraulic slide on it but also is equipped with electric over hydraulic disc brakes so we have some serious stopping power on this trailer um, that is a very, very nice feature when we get into these bigger trailers. One that we like to go ahead and, and upgrade to. <clears throat> We're going to jump into the living quarters first, and then we'll kind of work our way back and kind of touch on that air ride and some of the tack and some of the other features we did on this trailer. But like I mentioned, it's a 1510 outlaw conversion. You'll notice this nice big awning that almost goes the full length of the long wall on this trailer. So that's almost a, a 20 foot long awning on this. And the other cool thing is underneath here, you'll notice some nice lights, courtesy lights, LEDs. It's a great place to entertain out here. We have outside speakers, we have some courtesy lights that we do on the outside and then an, an awning light on the outside of the trailer and a grab handle light as well. So this thing can be lit up extremely, extremely well. I wanna point out this door. This is a big heavy duty door that we opted to put on this trailer. I also wanna show you this screen door because a lot of times screen doors are kinda lighter weight um, or there's the retractable screens that we use on a lot of trailers. But on this one here, this is a big, big, heavy duty screen door. 
And the other very cool thing about this screen door is, is a lot of people do like to travel with, with uh, pets. And you'll notice this heavy duty grate on the inside. So if dogs jump up on that, you know, they hit that screen, they can usually put big marks in it, tear it up, or even push it out. But on this guy here, you get this big heavy duty screen door. We think it's well worth the money. This is this door you're gonna open every time you get in and out of this trailer. As we get into the living quarters, again, it's a 1510 short wall with a slide out. You know, you're standing in an outlaw conversion. So you're standing in what we feel is the best conversion out there. I mean, one, it's extremely, extremely high quality. It holds up over time. It holds value very, very well. And then the warranty is unbelievable. So if you, if you purchase an outlaw conversion, you get three year warranty. Um, we always say that that is fantastic because if, for example, this, this convection oven, the refrigerator, the generator that's equipped on this trailer, if, if those manufacturers offer a one year warranty on those, if Outlaw puts it in, they cover it for three, which is fantastic. The other thing is, is you get 365, 24 seven customer service. So if you have an issue, you can call in and somebody at Outlaw will pick up the phone and walk you through some things. Um, try to help you figure out where you're at, get you to a service center, anything along those lines. So they stand behind their product extremely well too. So what we really, really like about this trailer, this has been a great seller for us. It's a great layout because we continue to see a lot of customers want the dual seating sleeping areas down here in this living quarters part. Um, and on this, we get your sofa sleeper in the slide out. And then over on the gooseneck drop wall, you get your dinette. A lot of people like the dinettes just to keep a table up. They're not having to take it down. They can sit here, eat a meal, kind of relax, maybe do some, some work, and then also have the sofa, but then have the ability to put both these down for sleeping areas. So this is a custom couch that goes to the floor, so it's not actually raised up in the slide out. Since it is a hydraulic slide, behind the couch is where the fresh water tank is actually located. Because of those hydraulic slides or heavier duty, we can put that, that water back there. There's a lot of storage in this trailer. Outlaw does a really good job of getting creative on small nooks and crannies and take advantage of it. Um, we know we don't have a absolute ton of room for storage, but they come up with unique places to go ahead and, and put some things in this trailer because we, we know we're getting into hauling a lot of stuff. So we get to the kitchen area. I want to kind of point out a couple things. I mentioned that convection oven on this trailer here. You've also got a two burner cooktop with the recessed lid so you get a little bit more counter space. And then we did a nice big deep porcelain sink on this trailer. We've got the custom tile backsplash on this trailer. And another cool thing we mentioned about the recessed cooktop um, having a little bit more counter space, but we also put put this extension on there for you So if you are cooking and you need a little bit more you can pop this guy up and again have a little bit more room there You've got your 6-0 refrigerator and freezer We've Got a flat screen TV here We've also have one up in the gooseneck for the bed area. But what's cool about this is, is one, you get this flat screen TV that will swivel around, but behind it, I'm gonna step out of the way so Cherish can kind of peek around the corner there. You can see some more storage. You can see the remotes are located in there. 
you get a lot of people travel and maybe need to carry a lot of DVDs or things like that and that's a great place to put that that equipment in there and behind you over here is our AM FM radio CD player and then this trailer is equipped with a WineGuard satellite and it's set up for dish network so if you're a dish customer or you want to go ahead and, and get that set up with dish you can get that account set up ahead of time we can get this set up to where literally you step in this trailer when you go down the road you've got at least the ability to watch basically all your programming and everything you want like you're at home as well this is a home away from home with this trailer being 710 tall rather than a lot of others that are about 76 you know, it just gives you a little bit more headroom up in the bed area. Like I mentioned, there's another flat screen TV up there. They've gotten creative with some additional storage up there. And there's in the, uh, up ahead of the window on the right hand side, there's actually a remote start for your generator as well. So you have a remote start up in the bed area, but then also down here in the living quarters. As we make our way into the bathroom, this is another thing that we really, really like about this trailer. There is a absolute ton of storage. So in your bathroom vanity, all those cabinets open up. Good amount of storage in there. You've got pull out drawers. Got another nice deep sink in there. And then you've got a walk-in closet, dual clothes rods, automatic light that turns on when you open up the door. Some additional closets behind the toilet. Great place, great place for linens, bath towels anything like that we went ahead and did the custom raised puffed um, material with a wood toilet seat and that is also a porcelain toilet and then you've got your shower with the skylight gives a lot of natural lighting in here but then also, if you're a little bit taller, it gives you a little bit more headroom. But take a look at the counter space in that bathroom. And again, that big, nice, deep porcelain sink in there as well. And then we did the custom tile behind that as well. And you have your fan, exhaust fan that you can turn on. It's a power vent as well, which is really, really nice. So this trailer is also equipped with dual furnaces. It's a bigger living quarters. Um, you know, this is closed off with a, with a pocket door. The other nice thing is, is, is getting heat throughout this. You know, everything's ducted so you can, you know, turn, turn your AC on with your heat strip and it'll circulate that air throughout this whole cabin into the into the bathroom this living area up into the nose you know keeping you nice and warm um, and also with the with the ac unit with those ducts you know on these hot days you can really circulate nice cool air throughout this trailer if you want to shut down some vents in one area up in the up in the nose or in the bathroom or in this it'll force air to those other places as well keeping it nice and cool but again we really like this setup um, because of the dual seating sleeping areas and again this is a really nice size trailer um, again a, a 15 10 short wall you know it's 36 foot 3 on the floor you know we still have quite a few people pulling these with one ton dualies and get along just fine on them
but as you can see, the, the outlaw conversion is second to none. Again, we really like that big door too. You know, it's a nice big handle. You can go ahead and shut it. It doesn't want to bounce on you. It's got a really good locking mechanism on it as well. As you look down the side of this trailer, we extended the extrusion all the way to the nose. We just like the look it gives to the trailer. It kind of breaks up a lot of that. It's a big trailer, so it breaks up a lot of that white sheeting. I mentioned up front the air ride. So this trailer's aired down right now. So if we go ahead and air it up, it'll pick it up about, you know, two and a half inches. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I've kind of got my fingers in there for a reference. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just run up front and I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna keep working our way around this trailer. And when we get to the other side, we'll recheck that, but that'll give it time to air up and pick the trailer up. So I'm gonna run up right now and do that. But like I mentioned, it is two 10,000 pound Dexter air ride ax axles. Again, we have 10,000 pound disc electric over hydraulic brakes. So a lot of stopping power. But also on these tires right here, these are Continental 18 ply with Alcoa rims. So you've got good running gear, really good, good high quality tires underneath this trailer go down the road. That air ride, we've talked about it time and time again on a lot of our videos. And we've done some videos with horses. We're doing some other videos for testing that we'll be getting out there here pretty soon. But time and time again, when we talk to customers that have, air, that have purchased an air ride trailer, the most common thing they all say is, I will never own another trailer without air ride. They absolutely love the way the trailer pulls, but more importantly, the way that the animals ride on this trailer, when the horses step off, they're fresh, they have their legs underneath them. A lot of competitors out there will tell us that, you know, hey, sometimes we can cut a full day off of actual um, transport on, on attending the show so they can leave about 24 hours later because the horses are that much fresher when they when they go ahead and, and get to the event or the show themselves. So this is the rear side load, PC load, cowboy load. Everybody's kind of got different names for it, but it's become so popular because of the rear tack room, which we'll get into here in a minute. But like I mentioned, when the air rides down, the trailer sits two and a half inches closer to the ground. Well, it's two and a half inches closer to the ground for the animals. And also on these side ramps, like on this load, we don't have as much angle. So it's not as steep for the horses getting it on and off. So it's, we always recommend go ahead and load with the air off. Once the animals are loaded, go ahead and turn your air on and, and pick the trailer up. As we get into the stall area, we mention it time and time again as well, you're standing on the industry's best floor. So it is an interlocking 12 inch deck with four inch centers. It's an extruded aluminum piece, so it's very, very strong. And we always tell everybody, picture in your mind hoof size of your horse. Wherever they're standing on a Cimarron floor, they're standing on a support beam. A lot of competitors will have their centers farther spaced apart and basically a sheet of aluminum on top. That's what causes pits or waves in floors over time. But again, the industry's best floor, nice big heavy duty upright post. You don't get to see it on this trailer because of the line and insulate package. Um, but then also you have your standard insulated roof that comes on every Cimarron. Doesn't matter what trailer it is. It'll take substantial hail, but most importantly, it keeps the stall area 20% cooler. And then speaking of cooler, a lot of airflow, as you can see, we've got the big 
drop down windows on tail side. Then we've got airflow dividers and then big drop downs on the head side. You combine all of these with two way roof vents on the roof and that insulated roof and you will keep your animals nice and cool in transit. We really like the setup of this. At stall one, we put the stud divider in there. So again, if you're wanting to carry some additional items, you can put them up front there, access them from the escape door. Don't have to worry about things getting underneath horses. If you are hauling forehead, you've got a little problem child, you can put him up there or her. Uh, padded dividers on these guys. But then also, nice recessed latches for the dividers. Nothing sticking out, nothing protruding out. Everything's rounded, everything has a radius, so it's nice and smooth. Animal safety is first and foremost. But on those latches, we really like them because it's not metal to metal contact, creating that rattle, um, you know, making more noise in that stall area for the horses. So we talked about it briefly there, that rear tack. Again, it has become so popular out there in the industry because what we did on, on this normal four horse slant is we ended up adding maybe two foot length to this trailer. To where if you go with the mid tack to get that kind of tack space, you know, on a slant wall, we really recommend a five foot mid tack just because of the angle. You just want that little extra, you know, footage in there. Um, you can do a four, but a five is probably the most popular on a mid tack. Well, then we've added five foot length to the trailer to where here we've added about two. So we keep the trailer a little bit shorter, but also have a absolute ton of tack space. So on this trailer, we did the single door and then we did the swing out saddle rack. We carpeted all the walls and the door so tack won't be scratching up aluminum. And then we did a post with six blanket poles. But the cool thing about that post is if you wanted to mix and match your saddles, racks on the swing out and those blanket poles, you, those are interchangeable. If you want to haul additional saddles, we can get you more of the pads and you can actually just attach them right to that post in there. So you have the ability to add a lot more saddle racks to this trailer or mix and match the poles, your blanket poles on this swing out as well. We decided to put some shelves in here just because we know you're going to carry a lot of stuff with you and we thought hey here's a here's a spot let's go ahead and put some nice shelving in here so three different shelves they've all got lips on them to kind of hold stuff and they're big heavy duty shelves as well and behind that blanket rack right there right now that is a 14 gallon fuel cell that fuels up that Onan 4000 gas generator that's up top. But again, that rear tack has just become such a hot seller for us. Everybody really, really likes that setup. And also, if you have horses tied on either side, it's a great kind of central location for your tack. Come grab a saddle, go to the driver's side, go to the passenger side, whatever you want. We've got the easy angle ladder. So it's a lot easier going up this that extends out, going up into your generator box platform, and then up to your hay pod, which I'm going to take you up there and show you that. So I'm taking the camera with one hand and climbing up. And again, because of that easy angle, it's just very, very easy to use. Then as you get up here, you've got your nice enclosed hay pod with a lid on gas shocks. It's very, very easy to use. You can grab this strap and just pull right down. But again, this will just keep everything nice and clean. 
not getting any weather to hay anything like that it's also nice for some kind of smaller items that you can secure in here and basically just shut the door this pod will hold 10 to 12 bales of hay just depending on size and then over here is our generator box that houses that Onan 4000 gas generator But then, as you can see, I'm actually stepping into the pod, showing you the platform here at the back. But they've done this nice cutout here, so it's very, very easy to just step in to your hay pod area rather than having to climb over, you know, a little bit taller railing. Also give you a grab handle here as you're headed up. And again, there's that cutout that you can step into. So again, I was holding the camera with one hand and going up that easy angle ladder by myself. You try that with a bolt on on the side, it it's not very fun. You, you can't do it, you more than likely get hurt. But that easy angle ladder just makes it so much easier getting up and down to that hay rack. As we get over here to driver's side, I've got your drop windows down. You can see your jail bars. Those guys will also drop. But also your mangers. You have three mangers, so a lot of storage. On stalls three and four, you get the little bit smaller door, but then at stall two, you get that nice big manger door in there. There's also LED lights in those as well. But we talk time and time again about how heavy duty these drop windows are, the manger doors. You know, these are very, very stout. That's all framing. Everything's keyed alike, so everything can be locked up. You're not having to use additional keys or fumble around with a, with a big set of keys. Everything has got welded hinges with grease certs, so you can actually grease those yourselves very, very easily. And like we mentioned, airing up the trailer. So I had about three fingers between the, the tire and the wheel well, and now you can see, I mean, my whole hand isn't even touching it. So now this trailer is aired up and ready to go. Since that compressor is self-contained, and this is rubber torsion axles with a shock kit, if for some reason anything happens to your air ride system, the compressor, a line, a bag, anything like that, this trailer sets down on rubber torsion axles just like majority of the other trailers out there in the industry. So you can get where you need to go. The old air ride systems, when you lost some air pressure, you couldn't go anywhere with the trailer. So this, this system is very user friendly. Um, again, if you don't have air ride, if you've never pulled air ride, we recommend you ask somebody that has, get their opinion on these newer systems. Um, we've done some customer testimonials. We've sat down with customers and let them just tell us what they think about their air ride. And again, every one of them will tell us they will not pull another trailer without air ride, just because of the way it pulls, but more importantly, what it does for their animals. We've got that escape door at stall one, like I mentioned in the stall area there. Kind of back behind this slide is our dumps for our gray and black tanks. But you will notice that nothing's really hanging down from the trailer. Cimarron and Outlaw do such a good job on getting those tanks up underneath the trailer, giving you a lot of clearance, not knocking stuff off in, in rough terrain. We'll never say never, but 
your chances are very limited now that they've done such a good job on tucking those up underneath there. I mentioned in the living quarters that our fresh water tank is actually on the back side of that sofa in the slide out. That's where you'd fill right there. And then here's your city water connection as well. So again, this is a 2020 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters with a 1510 outlaw conversion. Reference for you on this trailer is stock number 5N200. 050. Again, we were very excited to show you and walk you through this trailer. It has a ton of features, ton of options. It is absolutely loaded. We feel like this is a great size trailer and it's extremely well equipped. So if you have any questions on this trailer itself or anything we have on order or anything we have on hand or potentially building you a custom trailer, we can do that. We'd like you to give us a call, 303-684-3400. Again, my name is CJ Altmerg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Give myself a call or anybody on the sales team a call and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day.